An animal sanctuary is mourning several pets killed in a large fire last night. And we have to warn you, the images you're about to see are tough to look at. Ayla's Acres No Kill Animal Rescue is based in St. Augustine, and the fire was at its facility near the Florida Panhandle. On your side, Justin Clark reports who was hurt in the fire and how it might have started. It's, it's gone. I mean, it's gone. The building on the property of Ayla's Acres Animal Sanctuary has been reduced to smoldering debris. Well, it's terrible. Ayla's Acres No Kill Animal Rescue, based in St. Augustine, has 43 acres in Greenville, Florida, east of Tallahassee. More than 100 animals live there, mostly rescued from St. John's and Duval counties. Late Thursday night, a fire tore through a house on the property where some of the animals live, as well as the two caretakers. Fran Charlson of St. Augustine runs the organization and spoke to us on the phone from the sanctuary and said the caretakers heard the smoke alarm. They came running downstairs and the house was filled with smoke, so they immediately just started carting animals out. Um, and putting them in kennels outside. But they could not get all of them. As of Friday afternoon, 10 animals had died and eight cats were missing. I have a, a cat in a carrier that we did find that's burnt. I'm taking to the vet as we speak. This is that cat. She survived, barely. The vet believes she can indeed be saved. It appears that a, a heat lamp caught some straw on fire outside. The straw and the heat lamp were there for a tortoise because it was about 35 degrees last night. Charleston believes that fire spread to the house. Unfortunately, Ailey's Acres Animal Rescue has seen its fair share of devastation. The thrift store here in St. Augustine was completely wiped out by Hurricane Matthew and then again by Hurricane Irma. It's a lot. I, it certainly wasn't what I expected last night. The nonprofit organization will have to rebuild at the sanctuary and will need donations to do so. I just am um, uh, very shaken. Um, anytime we lose animals, it's it's devastating and the, it just the, the way that we lost them is horrific. The loss of these animals is tough, especially for these people who work so hard to rescue and care for them. Jessica Clark, First Coast News, on your side.